Hey YouTube, what's up? Welcome back. I have a great video. I have actually a great series of videos that you're going to watch. Subscribe. You don't want to miss this because we are doing something very unique here. We are building an ammo can battery box without a battery. And in a previous uh, idea concept video, what we're going to do is if this is our ammo can battery box, there's no battery in it. We have a place where we're going to plug in our accessories. Isn't that great? And we're going to run this off to any 12 volt DC battery. Okay? So that means it's universal because it doesn't have a battery. You could just hook it up anywhere. That's the beauty of this. So, that being said, this gives us a lot of flexibility, gives you a lot of flexibility to use basically any container you want to build this. You can use, uh, for example, a hard drive case like this or an unused pistol case. It will work. You don't need to go out and buy anything new. You just got stuff laying around. Here it is. That'll work. You could use something like this. This is a, this is a case where uh, I think a uh, microphone came in. Yep, yeah, there's a microphone cable right there. You can use this. It's got a little carry handle and you can have all your stuff. All your little plugs right in there. It's amazing. You can use whatever you want. Use your imagination. Use what you got. For the purposes of these series of videos, I have settled on the Harbor Freight Apache 1800 box. And I really like this box because it just looks looks like equipment. It looks like it's rugged and you know and durable and it looks just it just looks tough and it feels tough. So we're gonna use that. So, uh, in addition to that, and I know there's a lot of people out there that keep asking me for parts lists. I don't have any parts lists, and the reason why is because I'm making this up as I go along. Uh, I'm buying all these parts that I'll probably not end up using, so you don't have to. So when you watch the videos, you'll actually end up uh, you know, getting a real good idea of what you're going to need. I bought this cable. I don't know if I'm going to use it or not, but I have it got these connectors. I don't know if I'm going to use them or not. You don't have to buy them. I've got a power switch. I definitely want to use that. But for right now, you need to get this case and you need to get two of these. And uh, basically this is a, uh, a little uh, bezel with uh, three things mounted in it. Uh, number one is going to be your cigarette uh, lighter adapter your uh, power gauge, uh, your voltage meter actually, and a USB charger. You're going to need two of these, two little sets. When I got mine, they came in this little box like this, but anyway, two of those, one box, you're good to go. So, first thing on this build that, uh, that we need to do is these boxes, as you can see, have ribs and, you know, for additional strength and they look cool and all that, but we're not going to mount the bezel like that because that just creates an unsightly gap. There might be dirt and other things that will get in there. We don't want that. So, on the second box that I purchased, and now these are relatively cheap. I don't want to give a price because I don't know how long these videos are going to be out there, but and prices uh, change, but they're affordable. You can get one. I removed all the ribs and I did that using a scraper and I used a Dremel a little bit and I actually used a, uh, a lady's nail file to smooth it down so I could get a nice flush surface where we can mount this. Okay, And we're going to mount one on one side and we're going to mount one on the other. So we're going to have two banks of these and room in between for other stuff. That's why you need two of these. So one on one side one on the other. And in the next scene I'll show you uh, how I uh, remove the ribs and we're going to uh, actually go ahead and mount these and you'll probably need uh, a couple extra uh, little parts so you want to uh, might want to take a notebook out and just write down the stuff that you're going to need and maybe someday somebody will email me a complete parts list and I'll be glad to post it. Okay, let's get started. So what's the idea here? Um, basically, the top part of the box, this is Apache, this is the lid portion of it. Okay, remove the foam. So this is the thin lid portion of it. But you notice these ribs on here? We're going to have to take some of these off. But the 
before we do that, let me just show you real quickly what's the general idea. The general idea is that on this side, we're going to mount our receptacles. But if you look at it from this angle, we want to remove those ribs so that this thing sits flat. I don't know if you can see that, but it's not sitting flat. It's sitting on top of those ribs, and we're going to have a gap all the way around. Um, could I live with it? Yeah, but I'm going to try to remove these ribs and just try to give it a real uh, finished look. And once we do the one side, we're going to put our bezel on the other side, and we're going to mark it, and we're going to remove those ribs. And... Uh, drill the holes and then we're going to screw this in. So that's what we're going to do. So here we go. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set this on here. And I'm just going to run some blue tape on the one edge. I'm just going to put it right on that rib, right there. Press it down and just cut it real quick. I'm going to come over on this side and see where this ends. Okay, so I think I've got that about centered properly. I'm just going to put a couple little strips of tape in here just to keep this in place while I'm working on it real quick like that. Okay, and that looks about right. Just as it starts to turn, I'm just going to position this just so you can see you see where the edges here just start to slope off? Yeah, that's where we want it to end and we're just going to eyeball that to make sure we get that in as, as close to center as possible. And on this side, I'm going to run some more tape this way. That's where this thing's going to end right there. Once we get that, we're going to add some tape on the sides, like right here. Add some tape on this side. Right here. And then we could take this off. And basically what's left is what's, uh, what's going to have to be removed of the ribs. Okay, we got our box right here all taped off and we're ready to start removing these ribs. So what you're going to need, some safety goggles, always a good idea. A small hammer, like this, or something you can use as a hammer. A scraper, like this hyper tough razor scraper, it's got a sharp razor on it. You might want to consider wearing gloves if you're not used to working this sort of thing. Uh, just for safety's sake, wear gloves anyway. Dremel tool, this one has a sanding disc on it. Uh, if you have another bit that works better, uh, by all means try it. This is all I have right now. And a nail file. So this is just a coarse nail file. It's kind of spongy, but it'll do the job. And that's it, we're ready to start. Here we go. You see the ribs right there? Okay, so here we go again. We're going to do these metal ribs right here. We're going to come in at an angle. Let's tap those out. And that's what we want to do. And we're going to come in on the opposing side and just kind of notch them out. And then that'll give us some room then where we could just go in and just continue tapping along here and just scrape these off. Alright, let's do it now. right here again. I'm just going to 
notch these out this way. There we go. And I want to try to lay the blade down as flat as possible and try to scrape some of this off now. That's going to go on for a while. Just the outside edge of the box. Again, this is really slow going. Let's see if we could speed things up a little bit with the Dremel. want to watch it with the Dremel around the edges we don't want to go too deep and this doesn't create a lot of dust it just actually um, this kind of stuff gets a little gummy but we're gonna go through and finish this off like And we just want to try to stay on the ribs. Flatten that down some as best we can. Pretty good. Okay, we're going to take the tape off. I'll show you guys a close up. I need a little bit of finishing, you know, here and there. But basically, it's going to go like that. All right, can you guys see that? There you go. That looks pretty clean. Okay, we can take off our safety glasses. This is the box. This is the side that I use the scraper on only. This is the side where I use the scraper in tandem with the uh, Dremel. Uh, so if you have a rotary tool, by all means use it. It just made it go so much faster. The result is so much smoother uh, than this side. Bottom line, it doesn't matter. As long as you get it done, whichever way you can, with whatever you can, you'll get it done. Because once you put those bezels on there, it's not going to show. So doesn't matter how you do it as long as you do it right now would be a good time to get some additional uh, outlets or connectors that you would want on your box uh, primarily customizing your box uh, myself for example I got a couple more of these I also got this uh, 3d uh, Anderson power pole housing I'm going to add a couple of these uh, you could get a bank, you know, for your Anderson power poles. Putting them on the side somewhere like this would be a good spot. So next video, uh, we are going to add these things on here and take our box to the next level.
or next phase, whichever. Time.